unpacking your scooter. Remove the staple from the box in order to avoid injury while unpacking the scooter. Open the box. Remove the charger and owner's manual from the box. Remove the scooter from the box. Inspect the scooter for any scratches, dents, or damaged cables that might have occurred during shipping. Before using the scooter, be sure to read and understand the owner's manual. Estimated assembly and setup time. Curry recommends assembly by an adult with experience with assembling and maintaining bicycles. Allow up to 30 minutes for assembly, not including initial charge time of 8 hours. Required tools. Tools for assembly have been provided with the scooter, however we recommend that you use mechanics grade tools such as these. Installing the handlebars. Open the quick release lever by folding it over then pivoting it down. Slide the lever over to disengage the safety pin and fold the handlebars open. Remove the plastic protector. Insert the quill part of the handlebar assembly into the fork. You may have to loosen the wedge to allow it to slip into the fork. Align the handlebars with the front wheel and tighten the wedge bolt clockwise using a 13 mm wrench. Slide the safety pin over. Pivot the handlebar assembly upright. Rotate the quick release lever up. Fold the quick release lever over to close it. The tension on the quick release lever can be adjusted using a 10 mm wrench. Please refer to the owner's manual for this setup. Remove the handlebar cap. Install the handlebar into the stem. Rotate the handlebars into alignment. Tighten the handlebar clamp bolt so the gap on the faceplate is equal to the top and the bottom. The wedge is properly tightened when the handlebars cannot be twisted out of alignment with the front wheel. Slide the seat tube into the frame. This is a precise fit and the seat tube needs to be lined up with the receiver in the frame. Align the seat with the center line of the scooter. Tighten the seat tube binder bolt using a 5mm Allen key. Be sure to tighten the seat clamp using a 14mm wrench. Charging the batteries. You must charge the battery prior to initial use. The initial charge time is 8 hours. Unscrew the deck retention bolt in order to remove the deck from your scooter. Locate the red plugs and connect together. Secure the plugs with a zip tie. Reinstall the deck onto the scooter. Turn the power switch off. Rotate the door of the charger port open and insert the charger plug into the charger port. Pins must be aligned to allow the plug to be inserted into the port otherwise no charging action will occur. Insert the charger plug into a wall outlet. The light on the charger will change from green to red indicating the battery is now charging. You must charge the battery for 8 hours prior to initial use. Inflating the tires. Tires should be inflated to recommended pressure before initial use and should be checked periodically. Using a bicycle style pump equipped with a Schrader valve, inflate the tires to the PSI indicated on the sidewall of the tire. Checking the brakes. Using a 15 mm wrench, be sure the front wheel nets are properly tightened. Spin the front wheel to ensure the brakes are functioning properly and not dragging on the disc rotor. Turn the power switch on. The lights on the throttle will illuminate indicating the scooter is ready to use. Check and obey local laws regarding the use of electric scooters on public property.